few things I find wrong with this show. And, um... I'm probably going to forget a lot of the things I want to talk about. But one of the things I'm going to talk about right now... Is, um... For some reason... Robot Man and Larry kind of grieve in the same way. But they execute it differently. Like, um... Robot Man, right? When he finds out, um, Chief lies to him and, um, says his daughter and his wife is dead. But it's only his wife that's dead. Um, he ends up grieving for 30 years in his room. Basically doing nothing but occasionally making some of his race car track. Larry sits in his room, basically basically does nothing for 60 years when um he loses his wife to cancer and he pushed John Bowers away and he didn't know where he lived so he could never talk to him yet we do get an arc with them where Robot Man goes to see his daughter and he doesn't talk to her meanwhile Larry goes and immediately talks to John as if the stuff that they did like 60 or more years ago is fresh and new and like it happened yesterday. Like, it's so weird. There's a proof and there was a few problems with Jane's character. I'm not too familiar with the Doom Patrol. I've seen them in a few comics here and there, but I've never read like their actual comics. I've seen them in crossovers and stuff like that. They were obviously in the Teen Titans show. And they were in Titans. Though that's not canon anymore. Because they don't even mention Beast Boy. Plus the actor for Chief changed. Anyway. Um, some of the things with Jane didn't really make sense. Like... They have this big moment. This is around the time Cyborg first joined the show. He's trying to talk to Jane as Baby Doll, and he wants this, like, apparently super dangerous personality to come out. And, um, the only reason he wants her to come out is because, um, apparently, you know, Baby Doll didn't see it. That personality saw it. So he has to get that one out. But he doesn't know it's dangerous yet. Yet, um, Robot Man only told Jane that he was cheating on his wife with the nanny. Yet Hammerhead brings it up in disgust. I mean, yeah, they probably talk down in the underground. But you think something as important as, um, where Chief went that they would talk about. Because it was important at that time. And I also didn't really care for the ending. I really liked Beard Hunter. I wish we would have got to see more of him. And Mr. Nobody was amazing as a villain. Alan Tucky, or however you say his last name, is very underrated. He is such a good actor. He's in so many movies. His voice is able to change and you can barely recognize it. He's just such a good actor. Most people don't know him besides from this. Because um, he was in a Transformers movie, but it was a very small role. And I didn't even know he was in it until I looked up. And he's in just a lot of movies. He's even in Ice Age as a minor character. Anyway, I didn't really like the ending. Because they find out Niles ruined their lives. And they still chose to save him. Jane was like, well, I'm only doing this for your daughter and Danny. And, um, she actually, like, helps him and sings the song that he used to sing to her for some reason. Anyway, it doesn't make sense. Because even though Beard Hunter is a bad guy, he's never really killed anyone as we've seen in the show. And he usually just, like, hunts people down and stuff. He's not the best of a person. But he's not a terrible person. 
Oh, I don't know why they would let him die. Especially since, you know, Larry and Darren. Um, Larry let um, Darren, you know, survive on Danny Street. Even though Darren, you know, tortures people for a living. And they didn't take Beard Hunter. They don't take Mr. Nobody either. Who revealed to them that Niles did all this fucked up shit to them. That they would never know if he didn't do it. Sure, it was for his own gain. But, um, he still told them a very important secret. That their life would be very different if they didn't. And they just leave Mr. Nobody and Beard Hunter behind for some reason. Doesn't really make any sense. And also, doesn't make sense on why. Because, um, you know, Mr. Nobody, he was super smart. He had minor flaws in his plan. But he would always fix them or adapt and overcome. And he has a bit of forgetful memory when he gets what he wants. Because he got exactly what he wanted. Now the life ruined. So, of course, he forgets the one thing that he wanted with um, his vengeance plan. Which was, he also wanted to know where um, Niall's girlfriend was. And he forgets that, and that's the whole reason he kidnaps Danny and his daughter. So... You're telling me he's just going to forget his own survival? And it also doesn't make sense why Beard Hunter would wait till the last second to ask what's going to happen with them. It doesn't really make any sense. And, um... I really like the relationship between Cyborg and Silas Stone. It's probably the best we've seen as in an ap- adaptation but um yeah I think that's about it so I can't wait for season 3 to come out now I'm about to start season 2 so you can expect a review for that and you can expect a review for a few movies that I'm gonna rewatch as long as they stay on the app that I'm gonna watch them on I'm going to rewatch 31 because I never did a review on it. I was going to rewatch Hellboy since I only did a review on the second one because I watched the second one during my review times. But the first one I wasn't doing reviews when I watched it. But it got taken off the app. I'm going to rewatch Electra for a review because it's on the app that I'm going to use to be TV. And I'm going to rewatch Bait and Starve. And then I, plus there's a bunch of other movies that I still need to watch. So I got plenty of content coming out. So yeah, that's it for this review anyway.